In this video, we're going to use Qt Designer to design the interface of a plugin that we've already installed. The DXF plugin, export layer to DXF or save DXF, has nothing in it right now, but we're going to change that by using the Qt Designer. To open up Qt Designer, we just simply type Qt space in our search and Qt Designer with QGIS 3.12.3 or 3.1.2.3 custom widgets. Let's open that up. This was installed when I installed QGIS. If this is not already installed, make sure you use the advanced install when installing QGIS so that this Qt Designer is already installed. From the new form, we're actually going to just pick open. We're going to browse to a pre-existing form. Now, it opens under my user profile, so the first thing I need to do is type app data. That's a secret folder on Windows where I can find where my plugins are installed. So under my name, I've got to app data. We'll go into roaming, go into QGIS, QGIS3, profiles, default, Python, plugins. Wow. That's really deep, but that's where we are. We're under users, Gordon Luckett, or wherever your user desktop is, app data, roaming, QGIS, QGIS3, profiles, default Python plugins. Phew. Okay, so the plugin we're using is called the Save DXF. That's the one we did in previous videos. We'll go into that. And the only .ui file that's in that folder is the Save DXF dialog base UI. Let's open that up in Qt Designer. There's our very simple dialog box. Now we need to add a few things in here. The first thing we need to do is put in a drop down box. So, what we're going to do is bring in a combo box, and this combo box will have the list of all the layers. So, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we could read all the layers. And this is going to be called combo box. See the object name? I'm not going to bother changing that because the code we're going to add later refers to combo box. Now, normally you'd call it combo box layer or combo box one or so on, but I'm just going to use the default names that come in this exercise. I'm also going to put in a label. So let's just put a quick little label in here. Let's scroll down to labels. There we are. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And the text I'll put in there, I'll just say choose layer. Just like that. So this combo box will have a drop down list of all the layers in the current map. Now, now we have to figure out where we're putting the DXF that we're going to export. Okay, so here's a great tool that we can use. It's called the QGIS file widget. So we're going to add the QGIS file widget. We're going to drag and drop it in here like this. Again, we'll make it about the same width as the layer drop down above. There it is, QGIS file widget. I'm not going to rename it. That's the object name. And I'm going to scroll down and some things I'm going to change about it. The first thing I want to do is change the filter. I'm going to make sure that it only uses DXF files. So I'll go star.dxf. So that's going to be the filter of this dialog box. The second thing I'm going to do is change the storage mode. It's not getting a file, it's actually saving a file. So those are the only two things I need to change on the QGS widget. First of all, that it filters by DXF, and second, that this tool is for saving files, not getting files, because this is an output. This is where we're going to be saving a file. And then I'm going to put another label in right here, and I'll just say DXF location. There we go. Make that a little bigger so you can read it. And that's it. That's my dialog box. I mean, I can go in and change it, change the overall dialog box and what it should show overall. I can change colors, all sorts of things, but I'm just making this as simple as I can. Basically, we have choose a layer. We'll have a combo box that will populate later with Python with the list of layers in the drawing. And then we're going to use the DXF location. We're going to browse and put the DXF somewhere. That's all we need to do. So to save this, all we have to do is hit save and close Qt Designer. Now, if I go into my project and I just hit the DXF, 
it still has the old dialog box. So what I have to do is close QGIS to refresh, open QGIS again, and if I open up the load DXF or export layer to DXF, you will see an empty dialog box. Now it's quite small, it's cut off my labels. I can make them smaller or make the dialog box bigger, but you get the idea. So we'll have a drop down here and a browse to where the DXF should be and so on. But there's no code in behind. So this actually doesn't do anything yet. It doesn't get the layers yet. It doesn't have the DXF location. If I click OK, absolutely nothing happens. Our next video will show how to put code in behind that dialog box.